Hello everyone, this is Shane Gibson with Rackin, and today I'm going to show you a really fun demo. Here at Rackin, we've taken our digital rebar product and we've built an immutable image deployment uh, solution that allows you to deploy uh, images, either Linux images or Windows images, to target machines. And today we're going to take that process, that content package and uh, plugin capability to be able to create and deploy those immutable images. We're going to show you a create of an image, and we're going to use digital rebar provision to compose our gold image. And then we're going to build that gold image into the image that's going to be deployed. And then we're going to roll that deployment out to a bunch of machines. For future reference, our website for the product is rebar.digital and rackn is rackn.com. We're going to start today with our machine already in sledgehammer wait state, which means it's been enrolled into the platform. We've inventoried it. We have applied some basic logic to it and brought it on board. And today we're going to build the image that we're going to deploy from our gold image on this machine called gold image CentOS 7. And we're going to be using, as it says, CentOS 7 as our description. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply two profiles to the machine. We're going to apply a local uh, uh, local repo profile. And that profile just simply says to install uh, the image from the local ISO image that's hosted on Digital Rebar locally. And then we're going to use our Builder CentOS 7 uh, profile, which contains a stage map and the stage map defines the structure of the workflow that we go through and it's ultimately defined as a JSON blob here. We can go over to our workflow view, pull down our builder CentOS image install and we'll see that what we're going to do is we're going to kick off with a start install step. We're going to reboot the machine into the CentOS 7 install process. We're going to add SSH keys to the image. We're going to add the runner service which is the digital rebar agent into this uh, the image because we want to be able to do long-term lifecycle management of the machines after they've been booted up and running from the image and then finally we're going to do the last step uh, after that which is to uh, build up and package the image up and stage the image on our drp host and then we'll mark the image build process finished so all we need to do from this current uh, stage of sledgehammer wait is apply the two profiles the builder CentOS 7 install and the uh, local uh, local repo profile and you got to find it in the list here local repo profile we add that and so we see now that we have uh, the packet console so we have the SSH access through the console we have the builder CentOS 7 and we have the local repo profile we're going to kick this thing off into the stage uh, start install stage and we say go and then the question is what's happening well as we see in the background the machine received the reboot command and it's kicked off, it's gonna reboot the machine, go through the Pixie process, get the CentOS 7 bits, start the install. So what we're gonna do is to compress this video down a little bit. We're gonna fast forward through sections of it because watching a CentOS 7 install is kind of boring. Uh, and I'll check back in with you guys in a few minutes. Uh, in the meantime, we're gonna let this machine run and I will be back shortly. Okay, so our process is completed. And if we take a look at the logs here, what happened is CentOS 7 was installed. A number of customizations and packages were installed specific to the image. One of the things we did is injected uh, Cloud Init, since we use Cloud Init as a post deploy configuration hook to be able to plumb the image up with some unique customizations and changes. And ultimately, we tarball up the root uh, image and then we take that image and push it to the uh, 
file server where we're going to actually serve it from. And so from here, we can pick up the image that was created. And what's important to note here is this image has been stamped with an ID of 530662741 uh, and that is unique to this install. And we'll see that this is the image that we actually deploy to the machines. So the next step that we wanna do now that that has completed is we want to uh, go to the profiles and we're gonna customize the package that we're gonna deploy. So here is one of the old packages that I had deployed uh, in previous testing. And what we're gonna do now is deploy the new package, uh, which I had just highlighted and must not have copy and pasted. So let's go back and get the image name from the list here. Here we go. So it's been deployed. Uh, sorry, that's the manifest. And here's the tarball that we want. So we want that. We go back to our profiles. We go to immutable Linux, edit this profile, and we want to change the uh, image that we point to to file slash images and then the image name and we're also deploying a, a linux type with a tgz format we also support raw images as well so we'll just double check make sure that looks right image files images sent us blah 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 with 5306 as the tag. If we go and take a look at our file server, we see that we didn't have it before. If I refresh, now I see that these images were pushed up. So we see the manifest was pushed up as well as the image itself and the 5306 tag. And so that's what we're actually going to deploy uh, to the machines. So we've got that. And then the other piece that we need for the image deploy is the workflow that actually does the image deploy. And in this case, uh, the image deploy uh, workflow is called uh, image deploy, oddly enough. And we have a st chain stage map here. This is the JSON format, but we can jump to the workflow, take a look at the image deploy workflow, and we see that the workflow looks relatively simple. So it starts with image deploy, does an image deploy cloud init for the post provisioning configurations and reboots the machine marks it complete success. So if we go to our machines, we select all of our machines except our gold image. We're going to apply the uh, image deploy profile, which has our chain stage map in it. And then we're also going to apply our immutable lim Linux, which defines the actual image that we're going to deploy. So now that we see we have uh, all of these machines and actually I had missed some there because uh, I didn't have them all um, listed in the, the single page. So let's go back and re-add that, make sure we get all the machines, get image deploy as well. And take a look at, we have 20 machines now here uh, and we have the uh, image deploy and the Im immutable image. And so the next process, this next step in the process to put these machines in the image deploy stage, and we say go, and this will apply and start the process of deploying the image. There's not much to see on the console. I have one of the machines pulled up here, uh, but we see that the, the drives as they get probed uh, and, and we zero the drives out and then build the file systems on the drives, we'll see a little bit of feedback on the console from that. There's not a whole lot to see from there. However, what we can do is go ahead and grab one of these machines. And if we're fast enough, we can see it's almost finished. And in fact, it's just about to start the deploy image. Uh, we are actually deploying in parallel to 20 machines right now, the image that we built. And that was the image that you saw that we had built. And that process is going to be slowed down a little bit because our digital rebar provision endpoint has uh, two by one gigabit NIC. So it has two gigabit total of uh, bandwidth to serve t the image 20 times. Uh, so if you have a machine with 10 gig or two by 10 gig NICs, you'll be able to serve it much faster. But as you can see, this image is being laid down on the disk very quickly. And in fact, it's just finished. So we have actually just finished the deployment to this machine. And you can see 
uh, in a moment, it should bounce the machine. The machine is going to reboot and boot into the image. So now that we've actually just deployed that to this machine that quickly. And as soon as this machine comes up, we'll be able to see the final results of that uh, image deploy to the machine. And then we'll uh, take a quick poke at one of the other random machines just to make sure that it's good. Uh, so some of the things that make this possible are the plugin provider, uh, which is a rack and commercial component called image deploy. Uh, this is still in um, just coming out of sort of a minimum viable product stage. It's starting to gain some uh, features and, and capabilities to it. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the image deploy piece, which is responsible for deploying the image, be it Linux, be it Windows, whether it's a raw image or a TarGZ uh, file format image. But in addition to that, the image builder pack, which is very, very much alpha stage, which I'm currently working on, uh, currently is in a sort of a minimum viable product uh, demonstration state, but it, that should grow some here in the future uh, coming up. Um, but as we see the machine here has kicked over, we see our cloud init pieces are actually coming up and does its cloud init configuration and plumbing. Uh, cloud init barfs a bunch of stuff out to the console. This is a serial console, so it goes pretty slow. But here we are, we have the digital rebar uh, Etsy issue display from the customization inside the image. And we see the image identity is 530662718, which matches uh, our image identity that we had on the uh, image that we created, that we mastered. So let's, um, let's see, I grabbed, I had node one here on the serial console. So if we take a look at uh, the machines, uh, let's just randomly grab one of these machines Let's drop off the serial console, and then uh, I should be able to SSH into the machine. And, oh, well, I need to log in as a CentOS user. And there you go. So because the image was customized with a CentOS user or not root, silly me. But we also see as we log into this machine, it's got the same image on it. There you have it, image build image package, stage, and deploy to 20 machines. Thank you very much. Again, that was Shane Gibson with Rack, and check us out at rackin.com or check out Digital Rebar at rebar.digital.